six pounds. Her professional record, nine and two, five KOs. She currently holds the British Empire Championship. Let's welcome from England, Monique Killer Rada. opponent across the ring wearing the black and white stripes fighting out of the red corner she weighs an even 125 pounds her professional record 18 and 2 7 by KO she's ranked number one in the world let's welcome from Florida the current United States champion Bonnie the Cobra Canino Fighters, first of all, there's a championship bout. We want a nice, clean fight. All punches and kicks above the waist. I tell you to break your step back and break clean. No sweeps. Eight kicks per round. If anybody scores a knockdown, anybody gets an eight count, have to be in the neutral corner before I begin. Seconds, any question? Any questions? It's a championship fight. Touch gloves. Give courtesy to me, Steph. When you see a fight, you're going to think she's a guy. Watch. If you saw the footage from the weigh-in, the stare-down during the fighter pose at the weigh-in put the men to shame. These two women fighters, as Canino lands first with the legs and Rudick comes right at her, they say they start slow. Both fighters told me the same thing as Fred Corotone warns about grabbing behind the hand and hitting. Uh, warns Rudick. Monique Rudick in the black trunks with the stripes. It's Bonnie Canino, the Cobra. Well, it looks like the Cobra's coming right at her. Tell you, these women did not blink for two solid minutes at the weigh-in. Nobody wanted to give up an advantage. Razor Ruddick is a cousin, a distant cousin, heavyweight, from uh, Monique Ruddick, uh, whose parents were Jamaican, are Jamaican. Well, Ruddick seems to be a counterpuncher right now. Uh, earlier, uh, her coach had told me that she was uh, the type of fighter who comes right at you. But right now, it looks like she's passing. Ooh, right here by Canino Nails, Ruddick coming in. The action is strong early on. Featherweights, the world's women title. Kick sanction. And on the spin, Ruddick counters with the right hand. Inside, Canino throwing her punches wide. Ruddick keeping her hands in tight. Canino doing a good job with her sidekick, but what she needs to do after the sidekick is come back with a, a straight left hand or a right hook. Ruddick uh, tells me she expects her opponent to come at her, and so far Canino is, and she likes to count. Now we have a string that came off the glove. Fred Corotone picks it up and throws it out of the ring. We resume action in round one world. Another title action. Spin again by Canino. Ruddick tries her own spin and falls into the ropes. Vulnerable for counter. Right hand by Canino. Ruddick on the ropes, holding on. Ruddick, Ruddick, I believe, is going to get hit with a, with a roundhouse right because she's sitting back waiting a little too long. Right leg round kick to the belly gets in for Canino. Below the spin, Ruddick punishes the body with a left and a right. Looks like Bonnie's starting to find the mark. Bonnie, good accuracy with the legs. A terrific first round as Bonnie Canino saunters back to Burt Rodriguez at her corner. Terrific action. These women say, hey, the women are just as exciting as the men in kickboxing as we look at this world women's featherweight fight. Now we're going to see right, right here, right there. See, she's just, <coughs> Ruddick is just a little bit too far. She's staying right on the end of uh, Casino's punches. And Canino really preempted that strike with that kick to the side, driving Ruddick into the ropes. And back fist thrown by Canino. She's doing a great job. And uh, she's just catching Ruddick right on the end of her punches. So the sidekick even better that time as she drove Ruddick into the ropes. And you guys, you're right. You're right. She was too far to hit that spin. I don't know if you see it, uh, Mike, but the, it seems to me that uh, Ruddick just seems to be a little bit uh, intimidated by, uh, by Bonnie. She is far less experienced. 
Bonnie had been fighting for 10 years for this opportunity in the world title. She's tried twice before and lost, once on a controversial decision to copy law. Ruddick says world title fights weren't in her mind at this point. She thought it would never come, and when the call came, she adjusted her sights to the big time. She is the British champion and a former street fighter and brawler in Coventry, England, a tough area with a lot of unemployment, a lot of angry people. Got into those street fights because of racial insults, Monique says. They call her Killer Runner because she knocked out her first opponent and was devastated. Well, she looks like she's trying to do some knocking out tonight. Indeed. Oh, slipping the spin nicely is Ruddick, but unable to counter. Can't make something out of it. That's experience that Canino has to keep her head up and keep on throwing. Both of these girls look like they're in excellent condition. I was looking at the abs. The abs looks as good as mine <laughs> since <laughs> I retired. <laughs> Tell you what, Bonnie Canino is, uh, she has a terrific physique. Left back fist drives Ruddick back into the corner. Ruddick tries to spin, missing badly, can't get the range. Canino, the ring generalship is hers right now. Canino's doing a good job of keeping her in with her punches. Canino with a sidekick, controlling Ruddick against the ropes. Now comes up with the right hand, not much damage done. There's a uh, rope at the defense to Ruddick, and she's nailed coming out of it. And you know what she needs to do, I believe she'd get more, be more effective. It just gives herself a little bit more room to be able to throw her left and right around the body of Ruddick. And Ruddick slips down. Don't think that was from a punch. Fred Corton says no knockdown. The Cobra's starting to wear down a little bit, though. Canino has Ruddick in the corner and is throwing punches. End of round two. We're going to go 10 or less. Uh, 2018 in favor of uh, the Cobra. The Cobra Canino. Canino, the name of the cold-blooded killer in the big sleep. If you follow Raymond Chandler or Humphrey Bogart movies, read the books or see the movies. A killer's name in that book. Again, the sidekicks controlling Ruddick well. What a lot of boxers uh, don't realize, uh, when you have a guy, a uh, prisoner that's moving like Ruddick is doing right now, you have to slow him down to the body. You know, once once you slow down the body, the head will come. That time, the counter by Ruddick with the right hook landed against Canino. Canino seems to have turned up the speed. She said in the second round she'd turn it up. Looks like in the third, she's turned it up further. She's looking for a six-round stoppage, Canino. When they met at the weigh-in and they stared at each other, she said she sensed weakness, that she had this stronger aura. Kickboxers talk like that. They talk like jazz musicians. Well, I can see right now there's, there seems to be a little intimidation on the part of uh, Ruddick. It seems like she's a little intimidated. And what she needs to do is stop sitting on the ropes. Every time she gets back on the ropes, uh, the Cobra's right on her. Fred Cartone warning uh, Ruddick, I'm not sure what about. Ruddick just 11 fights under her belt. She began what? kickboxing for fitness, never thought she'd be a fighter, tried it, and loved it. Those body shots, those, those kicks to the body that the Cobra's uh, putting in work, I, she's starting to feel the effects. Ooh, and that left body punch and a right body punch. See, that's the experience of a champion. She's finding the body, and eventually the head is going to come. Canino skillfully following the sidekick in, puts Ruddick's on the ropes, and then pummels her with both fists. Canino, a master right now, controlling Ruddick. The experience showing. Ooh, could have been the left hand up. They were right above us. Bell will not save Monique Ruddick. She's got to get up. Right at the bell. That body shot tells it. 